you're beautiful for, for a, a dark skin girl, or you're beautiful that. for. And when I say keep it C money, I mean keep it real with me. I am the CEO of C Media, but I took a different route in 2023, y'all. And I started doing podcasting, and I'm so excited. And I want to start off by introducing my two beautiful guests today. Oh, uh, hello. You know, this is Monty. You Monty Carlo. But today is my Okay. <laughs> All right, now. I like that. <laughs> Okay, and peace and love. I'm Shannon, and you just call me Shan. <laughs> and what do y'all do? Because my guests do a lot, okay? And they have their own thing on the side. So I already said I do see media, interviewing, podcasting. So listen, if you want to interview, hit me up. Okay, period. You want mm -hmm. me to go first? Let me go first. Okay, I am a yoga teacher and a meditation specialist. Um, I own Nova's Yoga and Wellness Center, and I've been doing that for about three years now. Okay, that is I love you, <laughs> right? It's a vibe. I love that. Period. Thank you. I, like, I do mad stuff, but okay, I'm just period. Saying, <laughs> lay them out. I'm, I'm just saying this. You know, I make music, so y'all already know that. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't know that, how you know? Period. Make music under the alias. You know, um. Actually, no, it's under my real name, Montreal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but all my mm -hmm. social medias is under uh, the Monte Carlo. I actually took a different career route, and I am a music teacher. Okay. A school music teacher. I like that. I Thank love that. You. I just graduated from school. Yes. Okay, for, congratulations. Uh, phlebotomy and pathology, and Period. I'm looking to continue my education and go to med school. I get love it that. Okay. So, you know, it's a whole lot of black girl magic going on right now. I sure. And always. So... Today, I have a controversial topic, which I love. So one thing that y'all are going to really know about me, I'm going to have discussions that people are scared to talk about, discussions that um, make people feel uncomfortable in a way. But it's like these are things that are being talked about, but not always on a platform. So what I wanted to do today, I wanted to have women of all different shades and even some like lighter, light skinned girls. But um, I had a couple like my posts and everything I put out there, but nobody, none of y'all wanted to come on my show. And it's just like, it's, it's been a huge topic. And it's like, I really wanted to have a platform so we could all speak and we could feel like where each other are coming from. So we're going to have to just do that without that. But that's fine because we have a lot to talk about today. And um, I just let's get into it. Let's talk about colorism. Do we want to go by like what what we think colorism is when we first hear it? Yeah, we can start with that. A fine place to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Doesn't matter who starts. When I hear the word colorism, I think about the first thing that comes to my mind is me in school <laughs> like when i was yeah. little like that's the first thing that comes to my mind when i think right. about colorism you feel me that's the first thing all gp mm -hmm. yeah. i i agree with that i will say like not only school but i would just say like romantic situations yeah, yeah. <laughs> like romance like that's, that's probably real. like the first if i'm being honest like anything romantic not nah, like, for real though that definitely hit hard <laughs> definitely i feel like that's what colorism played Yes. Maybe the biggest part. I think when I was younger, it kind of went over my head. Like, I like now that I've grown, like, mm -hmm. once I started getting, like, later yeah. in high school, college, and I actually knew what it was. Mm -hmm. Dang it, I wish yeah. I was Whole time yep. going through I got a couple people I need to go see because yes. now that I know what you said. Right. Same way. That's definitely how it used to be. Like, I don't know. I feel like with colorism growing up, like, me, I've always been, like, a, like a dark brown. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So when it get hot outside, like, I be, like, chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, growing up, and I was always tall. Like, I hit my peak height when I was, like, in fourth grade, fifth grade. So yeah. I always been tall, had glasses, buck teeth. You feel me? So it's, mm -hmm. like, that was just a lot. So I always used to be, like, one of the homeboys, like. Like, I feel like boys never really looked at me like that until I got older, until I, you feel me, until I, like, changed it up, you feel me, found myself. So, yeah, that definitely was hard. I used to feel like growing up, like, especially, like, being, like, a black girl, if I wasn't, like, light or if I wasn't, like, white, mm -hmm. I was never going to, like, be with anybody. Like, I used to be like, damn. I might have to be with a white man. You feel me? Right, like, right, right. That's the I only swear. thing I'm going to have a valuable. You feel me? No, <laughs> like, it's crazy mm -hmm. that you really Men that, that look like me don't yeah. like me. That's, that's the one. Like, that's the tea. Honestly, like, when I would say, in elementary school, I think, is, like, when I noticed. 
mm-hmm. that like maybe I was a little darker now. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I would say I'm like a middle, like a reddish yeah, brown. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. In the summer, I get darker, mm-hmm. but like you know, for the most part, this is like my complexion most yeah. of the time. But if I'm being honest, in my elementary school, it was like one other girl that was darker than me, so it was just. Of my yeah, knowledge, it was just me and mm-hmm. her that right. was like the darker girls, and I think I did notice because I had so like you know when you're a kid you have so many different friends. exactly. I had Puerto Rican friends, I had white mm-hmm. friends, I had mixed friends. <laughs> my best friends we friends to this day. Shout out to her. Period. She's um lighter skin, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's when I started to notice because I feel like people started to point it out. Like mm-hmm. they will point out how different we look. Like. like they will put emphasis on how different it was. For real yeah. though. Then me and her went to the same middle school. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Like someone will be like, "Oh, you guys are like look like sisters. You guys are pretty." Be like mm, I don't know. I think she's prettier than you. She's like wow. Lighter. Like they would literally say like bold as hell. Yeah, they will. And you'll be will. like, "Yeah, bold as shit." Yeah. Like yeah, exactly. okay. <laughs> and then the names that people call it, like yep. I remember being called Caesar from the Planet of the Age. Yep. Like Stop. My, like and I'm just like wow like. What the fuck? Freak? Yeah, that like, shit is the freak. Yeah, for the guy, they used to saying all types of wild ass shit. Like, and it's so crazy because now when you look back at it and you up now, you feel me? And now your self esteem is all through the roof. Them same niggas okay. be trying to spin the block like you spin feel me. The... So I just be like, you feel me? I'm, yes. I'm great, <laughs> so great. And and it's so wild that you say that because it's like what I remember. The boys that were strictly white girls mm-hmm. that are spinning the block now is so interesting to me. Yeah. Because it's like, back then, you didn't look at me, like, at all. And and now, honestly, it, it comes across my mind a lot now seeing how we're so celebrated and brown-skinned girls and dark-skinned girls and, like, oh, y'all so fire. And it's just like... I feel I like it's flash. a trend. Yeah, a trend. And that's what I hated like about it. we trending it. right now. Exactly. Because back in the day, you know what I'm saying, when we were in school and stuff, we never got that praise. What what happened? Yeah. It was a lot different. It was a I lot different. I swear it was. Because right? I was just like, I was just like, like <laughs> this topic is on my ass. Okay. Anything black, anything about racism, microaggressions, macroaggressions, yeah. mm-hmm. especially colorism, I'm going to talk about it. For right. real. Because I feel like it's, it's something I really do wish we had different like perspectives, yeah. mm-hmm. but like being like I feel like you know us because I feel like we're all like the same complexion. That's what I feel like being in that middle is weird because like I've always been the type of person to be like you know you got your light bright, yeah, yeah, you got your light brown, brown, dark brown, yep. and then you got your dark skins, yeah, and then you got some people who like you either light or dark. exactly. Right. And right. when I was younger, I was dark. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. that I'm older. You in the middle. Now yeah, I'm in the middle. middle yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, or get yeah. this, like, the the last couple times, I done heard I was light. And I didn't like that. Now, that's not an insult, because I right. think we're all beautiful no matter what that's shade right. we are. So I don't want no one to take this the wrong way or be misconstrued. <laughs> but yeah. I'm offended. No, because I finally have owned the fact that I don't look like that. Mm-hmm. Right. And you're trying to place me there when I've never reaped the benefits of looking like that. Exactly. So, no, I don't appreciate that. Nah, for real though. I would much I rather you say I was dark skinned yep. than say I was light skinned because I've never reaped the benefits of that. Never, reaped never, that. ever. Yeah, like I, ain't, I ain't never. And it's really benefits too. It though. really it is. is. It's really, it's really yeah. benefits too. And I feel like people don't be talking about that. You feel me? Like light skin privilege, mm-hmm. yeah. the privilege that they got over women that's more dark skin. You feel me? Like have somebody would rather see a man or rather see a woman. A light skinned woman be with a light skinned woman rather than be seen with somebody that's dark skinned, even if the dark skinned one might have more face than the light skinned one, but she oh, just yeah. look more presentable Cause you're in more front of type. other people. Exactly. Yes. You're more my type. Like, and it really be a mind thing for the men, though, because like I'll be feeling like it's really mental because it's like you want to see somebody that's a lighter. So it's like, damn, you want her to be white, you feel me? Like, is it something inside of you that you want to be a white woman? Because my mom is light skinned, like, damn mm-hmm. near white. And my dad is mad dark. Mm-hmm. So it's like all of our all of my siblings and everybody is brown. Like we in the middle, like dark brown, brown, you feel me? So it's like everybody, when I used to bring friends home, they'd be like, damn, your mom mad light skin. Like how you look like that? Like, and damn. Because why, why would you say something right. like yeah, that? Yeah, they'd be like, how you look like that? Like why you don't look like your mom? I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. You ask him. Yeah. I don't know. They're like, damn, you look more like your dad. I think that's mad crazy for somebody to tell you that you look like your dad. I think that's wicked. Like, even if I look just <laughs> like him, wicked. don't tell me right. that I look like him because that's right. crazy. I'm right. like, no. I look like a man? <laughs> Not I look like a man. No, but nah. exactly. And 
I really, I really want to differentiate bullying versus colorism, mm. and that's why I really wanted to have some light skinned women here because um, I actually got into it on the net. So let's talk about that. Um, this girl wrote a status, and uh, I think I followed her. She's from like Virginia or something. It went viral though. Mm. She was like, um, you know, I do agree. Light skinned girls do not experience colorism, right? And at that time, when I commented, there was only, like, three other comments and, like, 20 likes. It went to, like, 735,000 mm. shares and all of that. But at a point, she blocked it from commenting after mine. And I put down a picture that said colorism. Um, textbook. Co- let me, let me. But it was, you mean, like. You know, the, the definition of colorism is literally, like, discrimination against darker, darker. skin. People, yeah. especially in a in the black. Thank you. Community. That's exactly what it said, and is that I, literally what it is. Yeah, literally right. what it is. <laughs> and I put that picture down, and now, like, I think a day went by, and I saw. I'm like, my shit is booming. Like, <laughs> what, what I do on the internet? They talk so, about me, okay? Yes, for real, so, feathers that I ruffle today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> period. So, um, but I got a lot. I got like a couple hundred people liking the picture and I looked in the comments because you know and it was some light skinned girls in there loving it too because they agree so that's why I think it's good to have healthy conversations because mm-hmm. it doesn't always have to be a division exactly. at the end of the day and yeah, I feel like they make it a division against like trying to put like melanated people against each other because it's like we all melanated you feel me so it was like now you get into this topic when it's time to get in a relationship and you like oh I don't want this nigga because he light skin or I don't want to talk to this nigga because he dark skin mm-hmm. and now you putting characteristics on the color of a person's skin like how I'm going to tell you that a dark skin person going to be crazy and a light skin person going right. to be a sad person I, you don't know that about that person you feel me you just got to get to know them and I'm going like, to say something about that because I literally hate when people do that mm-hmm. i literally like i want those people like i've like obviously like well not obviously because you know i don't know y'all <laughs> but like you know people can change and their opinions can mm-hmm. you know change and mold depending on you know the things you make yourself more aware of yeah i don't like the type of conversation mm-hmm. i have grown to realize that it is okay to have a preference right. but i do feel like having a skin color preference it's is wicked. just it's wicked yeah. <laughs> like i'm not gonna lie like now that i'll stand on yeah for real. like for exist like for example i'll say i prefer black people yeah, yeah. like i don't prefer melanated date, race like, yeah i don't want to you know i don't really prefer to date outside my race and that's not coming from a ignorant stance i've dated outside of my race my race and i've decided <laughs> that I prefer yeah. to stay within, okay. you know, that. Now, that's okay. But for me to be like, no, I just only want to date light skin yes. in my race or I only want to date brown that's skin. That's crazy. I don't care what you look like. If you look good yep. right. and you clean, yes. Heavy on treat clean me too. good. What's up? You feel me? Yes. <laughs> What's up? I want a lovely relationship with a wonderful mm-hmm. man. Let me put that out there right and now. Then, okay. Before I say that. Before I say this. <laughs> but, like, I don't care. Like, none of the men I've dated mm-hmm. look alike. Like, right. none of them look alike. But I'll tell you one thing. Like, they don't look bad. No, no matter what. The, <laughs> okay. Well, no, my type is good looking. Okay, right. my, <laughs> see, I like my that one. Good looking. Good looking. <laughs> like I don't. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Like I have a good looking type. Word. Nah, and, for real though. And I think that is so crazy too, because um, online, I I love to get to unfriended ignorant people. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yes. And it's like these dudes will really be darker than us talking about. Oh, they, I, I could never have no dark skin baby or I, and your I mom need is dark as shit. What do you mean? <laughs> like, you really Number got a one. problem with your mom. Your mom yes. It's not yes. us. You feel me? Like, it'd be like, that's what I'd be saying. People be having mental issues. Like, mm-hmm. all that shit people be projecting, that's their insecurities. That ain't got shit to right. do with me. You feel me? Like, you I got like a problem with your that. mom because she is all the things that you don't like. Okay. You all of those things out. And that's yes. sick. Like, I don't know if you ever heard of, like, I don't know how to pronounce their names. Like, the Duvals? The Duvals? Oh, I think I know you're talking like, about. Like, one of them, the, the husband acts on. Yeah, the they be on sisters. Instagram making the videos. Yeah. Yes. They did, like, this talk at a conference or something. And something mm-hmm. that I love that he said, but I feel like it described it the best. Because, like, like what you said, because I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Like, what you <laughs> said when you were saying, like, it's, it's based, like, inside insecurity. You hate yourself. Yeah. So right. you want to date someone the opposite of yourself. Mm-hmm. But what he said was because he said, I have friends that don't date black women. Yeah. And they'll always ask me, like, 
you know, like, you really happy, like, with this woman. And he was like, well, I feel like loving a black woman is the epitome of loving myself. He was like, I'm not going to hate on you or say anything bad about you dating outside your race. If that's what you want to do, if that's, like, who you love, because I do believe love is love. Mm-hmm. I'll put that out there. I'm not hating on you if you decide. If you meet someone and it's genuine, I'm not going to put yeah. a judgment call on that. That's right. But when, out, when you're out here demeaning us, and you only date this type of person. Like, you don't want nothing to do with us. Mm-hmm. I already know what that is. Yep. You're not going to lie to me about it in front For of real. me about right. it. But it was just kind of like when he said that, I was like, that's exactly what it is. Like, he was like, she understands me. She understands my struggle. Yep. When I'm going through something, I don't have to explain. If something ignorant goes on, we on the same page. I already know. Well, I'm not in a relationship where I have to educate someone or where I have to worry about, you know, stepping on her toes or making mm-hmm. her feel uncomfortable. And I was like, that's literally it. So how could you ever, yeah. how could you ever demean me exactly. or come down on me? Right. Like, we just, we're literally the same. Right, that's exactly. what I'll be but saying. But because you hate yourself so much. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> because you really hate yourself. Yeah. Like, you're sassy and you hate yourself. You hate yourself, You would your rather, mom. okay, yeah. talk about me when you already know the problem is you. It's not me. Exactly. exactly. Don't put that shit on me. Date Ashley because you like Ashley. Don't date Ashley because you think she... Gonna do something for you. Because she not. <laughs> because you think she's gonna be give real. you a baby with brown eyes and your baby come yes. out looking dark anyway. Exactly. Okay, that, yep. Cause our gene is we got the we got the or best gene. Just come out looking white. Yes. Exactly. And then you be mad. Yeah. Like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how could this be? I mean Drake. <laughs> like <for laughs> Baby, you look white. <laughs> no, you oh, are. Sorry. You, you are. You are what you come from. You are what your mother is. And I feel like it's so crazy, especially when people bring in the whole baby thing. People must not really be educated on genetics, and uh, they not. They don't be having no knowledge on nothing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, and I really don't like when people be saying like, "Oh, I don't like dating black girls. I only like Puerto Ricans." Those are melanated women. We're all melanated. That's all fact. of us are black. We just got dropped off on different boats in different areas of the world. You feel me? Got different names. We okay. all melanated. We all look alike. Right. Like we got all the same color. Mm-hmm. Now I do have an opposing one on that one. Okay. Now. I love all people. Mm-hmm. I really do. But some of my biggest issues are is that argument. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm Afro-Latina. Mm-hmm. But I'm not black and mixed with Spanish. I'm a black Spanish person. Yeah. Okay. But I don't say that because, for one, I'm not connected to that culture mm-hmm. because my grandfather was dark skinned and they didn't want to F with him. So, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, so there's that. <laughs> but also, I just feel like there's always been a like there's always like that one divide. Mm-hmm. Now you can be black and Spanish and it doesn't have to be like my mate. You can be like a, you know, yeah, Spanish person mixed with a black person and whatever whatever. But in some cases people think because they're Spanish that makes them black and it don't. Right. And then in them cases I get mad because mm-hmm. they'll say certain things like the n-word. Mm. Come around, do certain things, but then they want the rhythm, but they don't want the blues. Mm. Mm. So if you can say this, and you can act like that, and you can, you know, do what you want to do. But then it's, oh, well, I'm, black men treat us better. Yeah, oh. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. when, I say, when I say mellow Oh, I'm not one of you. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. It's not the same. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm like, I'm, like um, I'm not that. That's right. not what I am. Yeah. Oh, so you're not now. I right. thought you was. Which one is it? Because mm-hmm. yeah. if you is, then okay. But would it benefit some? Yeah, it's only you. Yeah, you see, want that's the what I'm saying. Be. A lot like, of I'm people I'm black all the time. Yeah, so, yeah. A lot of people really don't be knowing their culture and like the things that they come from. You feel me? Because when I say melanated, I mean like our gene. Like mm-hmm. that's why we all got that pigmentation because we melanated. We not yeah. white and we not Asian. So that means everybody else is in. This, we all melanin. Like we right. got that distinctive gene trait that makes us brown, black. Light skin, we got that, and they don't have that. Right. So we all fall under the same umbrella. We mm-hmm. just whatever race or name you want to put on it, that's cool, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But when you look in the mirror, we all look alike. Yeah. We all got brown skin. We all got that melanin gene. Because if we didn't, we'd be white or Asian. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, don't talk to me like that's mm-hmm. crazy. You feel me? Like we don't say like, oh, she's a different person, so you can't talk to me because. She's a different race or these type of things like that. Because she's exotic. Exactly. Yeah. I'm exotic. Exactly. I'm not from here. Okay, <laughs> you feel me? Like, that I'm ass. not from here either. Mm-hmm. Okay, we grew up, me and her grew up down the street. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> me and her grew up down the street. Exactly. Both our boats got dropped off, okay, in the same Exactly. Place. Exactly. That's I'm exotic I too. What's yeah. next? And you are too. So what's the problem? Right. For real what's the problem? That's not the problem. Be for real. Mm-hmm. BFFR. Not for real though. Yes. I, and I feel like a lot of women haven't like they haven't reached that point in their life where they 
want to be open enough and willing enough to unlearn the bad shit and learn new shit, you feel me? And, like, really learn their own self-esteem and learn what they like. Because I feel like nowadays we just so caught up in social media. Like, our generation is, like, social media crazy. Like, we base everything in our life off what other people do on the internet. So a lot of people really be living in a different reality yeah. that ain't even ours. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't be living in this. Okay. <laughs> we don't be in this. Like, no. We don't be in this. Room, but we don't be in this. No, we mm-hmm. not. They don't even be on the same frequency. They be mm. somewhere completely different. Like, so it's like, nah, like, so you see people be in relationships and shit, you be like, oh, I want a dark skin man or I want a light skin man. So now it's like these different type of goals to go with different colors of people. And it's like, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I also want to say, like, I feel like it's really hurtful for the men to do that, um, especially for younger women. Now, me, I'm the type of person I have thick skin. I can't say that I was targeted, bullied, or, um, my color, I know there's colors and stories that are a lot hard, like harsher than mine, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But like with the men and women's insecurities and women changing things for men, yep. I think that it's almost like brainwashing. And before we had this conversation, I think it was like a week ago, um, I be listening to like old, old songs that I like to listen to. And yes. I was listening to a Lil Wayne song, and that's one of my <laughs> faves, right? I love me some Lil Wayne, but. Don't you hear when your faves disappoint you? Okay. And this is crazy because this is a song <laughs> I've listened to over and over and over for years and years. And it, I just caught this part yep. that he said, and he said, um, beautiful black woman, I bet that bitch look better red. And. I used to sing that part, you yep. feel me, like, for years and years, and now it hit me, and I'm like, he really said that. Yeah, and you ain't even the red he talking about. Yeah, you not, not the red like, damn. <laughs> That's the thing. Real, and I think, I, it's just wild. Like, honestly, colorism is just so wild. Like, mm-hmm. it just all boils down to, like, you really hate yourself. Like, not for, for, you real, to, yeah. for you to pinpoint that, and, like, okay, like, I always felt like it was majority of men. It was. Like, and I know it goes all the way back to slavery with them separating us mm-hmm. and putting, like, you know, light skin yep. in the house. And so, like, this is just trickled down. Breaking like, us you know, down. PTSD. Yep. That we've carried on, like, for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. But something I, I always felt like was, like, you know, majority of men, like, you know, especially athletes, our yep. famous black actors, what do they normally go for? Right. Yes. And it's Wait, annoying. Yes. Or, like, even in high school, like, my thing, it, like in high school for me, it wasn't white women. It was just Spanish women. Yeah. yeah. Or the lighter skin Light girls. Yeah, like, and yeah. that's all. It really was just that. Um, and sometimes white girls, but it didn't, didn't really bother me. But it was something I picked up on. Um, and then I would notice that if, in my scenario, if they did talk to me, I always had to be mixed with something. Yeah. Or it wasn't out loud. Like, you like me. You think I'm beautiful. You mm-hmm. can tell me that, but you can never say that out loud. But yeah. if I don't fit your mental standard. If I don't standard. fit your mold, but yep. we, can't, we can't hold hands. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, exactly. I think she, like, I remember I had a boy yeah. tell everyone he thought I was ugly. Like, he chased me for a week. And they was like, oh. But when I finally gave his ugly self a chance. Yeah. In front of everybody, these around. girls, was, they was being messy in my business. And they was like, oh, you know, she likes you. And he stood up in front of everybody and was like, oh, she's ugly. Yeah. And then the girl, and he actually had a girlfriend at that time that I didn't know. Mm-hmm. And she was like, me. so I was like, oh, so oh, yes. I got it. Yes. I get you. I feel you. I see what you're putting. I yeah. got what you're putting out. Mm-hmm. Or like they'll be like, oh, I never dated a, you know, brown skin girl. Or I normally date light skin girl. Like they have to put an emphasis. Yeah. Like they did something for me. And that right you know, off you know, the bat like, oh, is a red flag. Yeah, red or flag. you're beautiful for, for a, a dark skin girl. Or you're beautiful that. for like, and you're I'm like, like yeah. the fuck do that mean? Or like, what are you mix? Like, what are you mix with? Kills me every time because. Y'all got honestly tell me, do I look mixed to y'all? No. no. When I came in here, did it give me? Because no. <laughs> I didn't think it did. I don't think it ever did. Right. It's like, why do you associate beauty? Like, why can't it just be a that. black woman just be beautiful? I'd be yes. like, yeah, mix. My mom is black and my dad is even blacker. Yep. And that's what I am. Yeah. I'm just Boom. black. My mom is only one shade lighter than me. My mom is literally brown. That is a brown <laughs> caramel woman. Okay. My dad is a nice looking dark skinned man. Yep. Mm-hmm. And when you have two good looking people, <laughs> You yes. get a good looking Baby. child. Okay. Right. For real. So I'm beautiful just because I'm beautiful it has nothing to do with my genes. Mm-hmm. Has nothing to do with like what you think I may be mixed with. Mm-hmm. Or trying like my hair. Mm-hmm. Like my hair is really curly. Now I wear wigs. Mm-hmm. I wear protective styles because I don't want to do it. Okay. I, wear, I don't <laughs> care what it looks like. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and it's a and Quite to contrary uh, belief, I don't care how curly it is. It's still yep. I still got to do it, like, For and I don't want to. 
oh my gosh, you could be, you could be Spanish. You could be, you could be this. Like, why is your hair so nice? What do you mean? Because I take care of it. What do you mean? You why is my hair so nice? It's always some exactly. extra on. I have it's a light skin sister. Is. Yeah, my sister, she's actually light skin. Mm-hmm. And on my mom's side of the family, they have more like the high cheekbones or yep. longer nose. Mm-hmm. And she takes on more of that side. I look like my dad's side. Yep. Gorgeous. She's beautiful. Her hair is kinky. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's kinky. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what do you mean? Like you it just goes to show you like you're trying to like put a label or try to put us in a box. Yes. And you can't. Like we all you look can. different. So why are you trying to narrow me down to something? Exactly. Because you hate yourself. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. You're trying to put me in a box because you hate yourself. Right. You're coming up with all these reasons why you shouldn't be dating with me. Yep. But you want to date me or you want to be my yes. friend or you want to be cool with me. Okay, well, if I am, it's probably because of this. Or I'm just, I just have to figure this out. Exactly. Because I've never met anyone that looks like you. Mm-hmm. I just have to figure this out. Maybe because mm-hmm. it's only one me. That has nothing exactly. to do with anything like, else. Everybody you date is only going to be one of them. Like You're like, not going to be dating the same person every time. Like right. Yeah, like you're trying to figure out my genetic makeup. Okay. Like, <laughs> I, did, like, I remember there was a dude that I dated, and he was our complexion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He swears up and down that he's light skinned. See? And I got so mad. He like, want to be light skinned. I was like, I'm not going to lie to you, baby. You're not. Nice I'm skin. sorry. Like, you're not. And he literally said to me one day, he was like, our kids are going to be light skinned with green eyes. No, they're not. See, he got a mental problem. Yeah. <laughs> you're literally delusional. He got a <laughs> mental not issue. Not well, how? Okay. I'm mentally how? ill, boy. Mm-hmm. Look, this me. How? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're confusion. Very confusing. I don't you're think confusing. men realize and why, why would you that. Say that. That's not like that. Doesn't make me feel good, right? Because I ain't giving you that. Sorry. I ain't giving Nine you times that. Nine times the baby gonna be brown. Exactly. My that's exactly what it's going. Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to break it right. to you, but that's not like I'm. They gonna be white for two days. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> that. Be on that. Like They'll be white for two days. Enjoy, Enjoy that. Minutes. Enjoy oh that two days of white if that's what you're looking for. You feel me? Gonna brown up real quick. Right. Who's baby is this? White. So okay. they could be when I was a baby, I was like skin. Look at this picture. Exactly. <laughs> and that's how they be. They put them old so ass pictures. Baby, I was like skin, but you know, I just kind of got darker. Darker. Because you're dark. Girl. Because you're dark. Exactly. That, ain't got that color came in. We all yes. look like when we come out. Thank you. Babies is ugly when they first come out. We all look yes. the same when we come out. We they definitely like be looking like aliens. Yeah, like little white alien prunes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Really, I get about a week. About two weeks. About about okay. Yeah, about, about two days. But I don't think men be in. realizing, like, you know, how detrimental it be to, like, women's self-esteem and, like, mm-hmm. they worth and how they feel about themselves. Because I don't know, like, for me personally growing up, like, the way men treated me and, like, the way they made me feel about how I looked and the things in my appearance of that nature. Like, when I got older and, like, actually started dating... I used to just accept anything, you feel me? Because you be losing that self-worth because you be like, damn, if niggas not going to fuck with me, I'm just going to take whatever, you feel me? Take whatever just come to me, you feel me? And that's some shit you got to unlearn because that shit can really cause badass habits, you feel me? Like, because you looking at yourself like, you're not lovable. Like, nobody ever going to love you. Nobody ever going to think you worthy. And it's like, nah, fuck that. They yeah. wasn't worthy. They wasn't. Okay? Exactly. They yeah. wasn't yeah. worthy. And that shit really a long-ass journey, especially if you... I feel like a lot of women be looking for other people to tell them that they look pretty or that they beautiful and that they worthy. And it's like, nah, you got to tell yourself that. Because if you don't believe it, the other people not going to treat you, you like tell. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, and it's really hard. For like, real. It's really hard. Like, it doesn't matter how confident. Like, you know, I, I have friends. And she would always say, like, you know, we would have, like, these deep conversations, mm-hmm. like, these heart-to-heart. Um, and me and her, like, she was, like, a dark, she was, like, a dark, beautiful. Yeah. Like, beautiful. And I would always tell her, not because she would, like, pound on herself, but, like, you know, I just let the people in my corner. Yep. Guys, girls, even if I just met you, mm-hmm. you know, what's that mean? Like, you know, I'm never too, it's, it's never that serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too ill to say what's up. You know what I mean? For real, though. No. I'll let yeah. you know if you look good. good. Like, if I see a like, beautiful woman... I don't care if I never seen for I could be getting off the plane. Mm-hmm. You're beautiful. That's right. how you, make you are. Yeah, mm-hmm. like my friends, like I'm like, you're gorgeous. Like it could be a random day chilling in You look so beautiful. For real, Your exactly. skin glowing. glowing. And she's like, Oh my God, I don't feel that way. And I'll be having the level where like, girl, nobody feels that way. I don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Well, you come out so confident. I'm like, Well, to be honest, like, I'm as confident as I can be. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean I don't struggle. Yeah. I'm like, it took me a journey. long time to get to where I am today, but I still have. Them Issues. days, yeah. Like before I came here, I was like, the fuck I'm gonna yeah, put yeah, on. I'm gonna wait. Mm-hmm. Ah, I was stressed out. I was on the phone with my boyfriend getting ready. I was like, oh my god, he's like, you look beautiful. Like, I don't know, I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I like it. 
<laughs> so it's like you that that's really hard. Like learning to love yourself. It's like yeah. it's not easy. No, yes. like that I used is a to long wish. ass journey of yeah. people treating you like shit and you not realizing what you really worth until you really start putting in that self work and that because if not. No, you fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you got to love that. yourself. Put yourself first. For real. I feel like people don't, women don't look in the mirror enough. Yeah. yeah. Like, they don't look in the mirror enough. Time. Like, that ass just looking at themselves. Like, in the mirror, no clothes on, just looking at yourself. Like, just being comfortable in the skin you in. And if you don't like that shit, then do something about it. You yeah. feel me? Like Yeah, like, do something. That, you, you feel me? Like, when I was younger, I used to wish I looked different. Like, I used to think I was so ugly. Like, and we was, was children. We were children. <laughs> I used to just think I was ugly. Yep. Mm -hmm. I used to think I was ugly. Like, I had an aunt, like, go in on me. Like, she used to say I look like a little boy. Yep. All types of things. Like, and, like, I, like and I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. But, like, you know, like, that stuff really does follow you That shit time. fuck your like, feelings that, up. Yeah, that... On top of, like, you know, my friend, like, me starting to notice that my friends were getting a certain attention mm -hmm. that I and wasn't you not getting. getting. Yep. And the only difference between me and them yep. okay, For real. was this. And then they're blatantly telling me that is the reason. Yep. Yeah. And then you get older, and when you do start getting attention, like you said, you start taking anything. Yeah. Because you're not used to. Mm, not exactly. Used to, People right? giving like, you attention. Too, like I said, in high school, it was back-ended. Yeah. Like, I felt like I started to realize, okay, I'm an attractive woman, but. Still not attractive enough. Enough, exactly. I'm not attractive enough. Like, mm -hmm. I was getting it, but not the way, like, like it I wasn't said, under good wraps, attention. <laughs> yeah, under wraps or contingent upon. Yep. Yeah. Or there was a certain population of black men that didn't want to deal with me. Yep. Darker skinned men, brown skinned men. Light skinned men always wanted, you know, to talk to me. Yeah. But, like, you know, that and other, like, you know, white men and stuff like that. Yep. Like, you know. People who See, mine was the opposite. Like didn't want to speak to me. Yeah. Like they just light didn't skins think. never wanted to talk to me. Really? really? No. Because the light skins is usually the opposite. Like you know, dark skinned men like light skinned women. Yeah. Light skinned men like they never want to talk know, to me. Dark, brown skin, dark skin. That's interesting. Nope. And tell us a little bit about that. So yeah. did you? Because I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, did you? Were you attracted to light skinned men? Yeah, I was. Cause my mom was light skinned. You feel me? Also, awesome you like what your what your parents look like, or you feel mm -hmm. me? Cause you always around. You feel me? Your family. So you feel like, all right, I like this shit. You feel me? So I like. I, I thought I liked light skinned men. You feel me? Like yeah. so, when I used to try to like talk to light skinned men and things of that nature, even like be around them when like when I was in school, they was not fucking with me. They be like, "Ew!" Like they'll treat me like they homeboy. Yeah. Like you feel me? Like you can be like the side thing. You feel me? Like you can help me get girls. Like I was really like the homeboy. Like I was really all the niggas homeboys. Like that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get out of that until like maybe after middle school. Like. And then in high school, I really started fucking with niggas. And even then, I was just fucking whoever really wanted to fuck with me. I'm like, damn, if they like me, then obviously, you feel me, they like me and I'm going to fuck with them. But that shit was horrible. Mm -hmm. That shit was horrible. See, for me, um, I felt like light-skinned men were attracted to me. and, um, But dudes, dudes were flip-floppy, you know what I'm saying, through, throughout the years. Especially when you're in school, you could see the changes. Exactly. And... um. It's like, I feel like even women that are, like, big feel this way, too. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, you only love me behind closed doors, but yep. you're not yep. trying to... Mm -hmm. Not out loud. Yeah. For real, though. And I find that very sad. Now, fast forward to the future, I had a light-skinned boyfriend in high school. Now, we ended up having a baby. I lit I thought my baby was going to be, like, my color um, because he's half white. Mm -hmm. Now, my baby is very, very light, light-skinned, um, like, yellow, like, mulatto. And I just, I, I think face. about it. Yeah, I was like, I'm I was confusion. really surprised. <laughs> and it was crazy because I had a homegirl at the time. And that's when I really realized she may have not really loved herself, you know, because mm -hmm. I was pregnant. And I don't know what hurt her the wrong way, but she said, well, I hope your baby comes out black as fuck. Like, what the fuck do that me mean? Too. I don't like, know what it means. <laughs> and, and, uh, and my whole thing is, like, I didn't nah, care what color. Because I know what you meant. Yeah, like, you know what, what you mean. meant. And my whole thing is, my friend was way darker than me, but beautiful to me. I really felt like she was a beautiful woman. And not to go too much off track, I remember in high nah. school, um, a light-skinned girl had made fun of her and said, like, um, like you ugly-ass black bitch or something. And mind you, I'm being so dead ass when I say this. The black girl is so gorgeous in the face and everything, you know, to me. And the girl that said it, look, you know, hey. T, you know, T.I.'s wife? Tiny. Yes. <laughs> or Katie got bands. I'm really not trying to be funny. Like, 
and, and you're using the skin color exactly. To, to, but in the face, it wasn't. Don't give. It was given T.I. as well. And I feel so, if she ever see this, I'm not saying that you're a bad person. Um, she <clears> was picked up. That's how she was looking. And and then I was like, it's the audacity for me. Yeah. That's what that's what it was for me. Yeah. And I think that boils down to that insecurity factor. Yes. So, I know you're leading this. But I have no, a question, no, no, though. Like, yes. So, like, how do you, like, sometimes, because sometimes it's not always blatant. Right. How do you know if someone is, like, coming for you because of your skin color mm-hmm. or they're just jealous of you and then because you know i feel like now that we're older we're more aware yeah oh, definitely. but back then there was a lot of things that we used to say like i would let us sit up on this couch and be like i ain't never saying that but like right. even though it may not have been towards a woman i've said to my guy friends like even though they might have looked good like i had a friend mm-hmm. um and he was mad cool mm-hmm. and every time we would get into it i'd be like you're dark piece of toast like but i <laughs> and i didn't mean like and it's like i like I like realized how ignorant that was, yeah. but I wasn't saying it because he was ugly. But like you just joking. obviously, so like obviously something in my subconscious said, "Yeah, mm-hmm. this is funny, and I know it's gonna hurt your feelings, and that's why I'm saying it." But like I don't mean it. Like you know, you like not ugly. Right. Like like you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, you're not ugly. Like, okay. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know to this day with how true. that made him feel. exactly. That's you true, feel though, and man. I don't think it like kind of dinged in my head. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. it, like I would never say that to a girl. Okay. But I felt comfortable saying it to a yeah. guy. And I know if I felt comfortable saying it to a man because I'm used to them spouting those things out. And saying yeah, that so it be. felt like you could give it to him. I could give it to you. Give it to him. And yeah. it's not going to be that deep because it's not the same. Like, you know you get girls, but how do I know you get girls? Exactly. Or how do I know you get the we girls that you want? How do I know that? Mm-hmm. Like, how do I really know that? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't know that. And then, uh, another thing I wanted to, I just thought about, when I, I in college I had a friend. She was very, like, like, very light skin. And there was this guy who had just transferred there that year. Mm-hmm. And he was, like, dark skin. He was he was really nice looking. Mm-hmm. And he was British. He had an accent. So, you know, it just it put the pressure on. So, I'm yeah. like, oh. Okay. <laughs> ah. exactly. I ain't never seen you before. You knew for real. Yeah. And he wouldn't talk to any of us. But he wanted to talk to her. Oh, okay. And I made a comment. And I was like, dang, I knew I wasn't his type. Yeah. And she was so hurt. Mm-hmm. She was so mad. Like she was like, what do you mean by that? I was like, I mean, like, you know, For real, you're his type, you yeah. know? Like, you like, mm-hmm. we're Especially not. depending on their background. He won't talk to us, and he's talking to you. And I think that was the first time I made me think about it. I still stand by what I said, but it did make me think about how I made her feel. Yeah. Because she was like, well, Montreal, like, I am pretty. Like, yeah. I'm not ugly. And I kind of felt bad. Because I was like, well, that's not what I meant, but mm-hmm. I didn't really think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I did make her feel bad. Nah, for Cause real. Because she's though. still black. She just, you know. <laughs> but I think white. that was because that was my experience. I just kind of was like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. he won't talk to the rest of us. Everybody mm-hmm. here is gorgeous. Like, I wouldn't lie. Like, if I, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, if he would have went to another girl, I probably wouldn't have said that. Like, if he would have went to you, yeah. he wouldn't have said that. No. Or if he went to you, I wouldn't have said exactly. that. Or if he went to a darker girl, I probably wouldn't have said that. Like, <laughs> yeah. But because he went to her and she was the only one who looked like her, yeah. I automatically assumed, like, okay, well, we're not his type. But I felt like I did take away from the fact that maybe it's simply that he is just attracted to it. Exactly. So how do you like know? Her. Like, how do you know someone is being colorist? Like, how do you know? I feel like Sometimes it's it not as blatant. on their the intentions. Like, how yeah. somebody come off to you, like, the first things that... I feel like the first five minutes of meeting somebody mm-hmm. or the first conversation y'all have is crucial. Because yeah, they're going to tell you lot. everything you're going to need to know, even if you don't ask them certain questions. Mm-hmm. They're going to tell you everything this. you need to know, like... Uh, if you ask me, like, especially, like, now with me having locks and things of that nature, I be getting that so much, like, oh, you so pretty to be a girl with locks. So you feel me? You pretty with a girl with glasses. Like, mm-hmm. it always been some shit with me. Like, you pretty to be right. tall. You feel me? Like, oh, that it's... tall won't give me everything. Okay, like, like come on now. Stop playing with me. Like, yes, it's always, it's always some extra shit. But, like, the people that be true, they be true. You be feeling it. Like, they don't ask you. They don't make you feel no type of way about anything you got going on, your appearance. They just want to fuck with you. Right. They like you. They don't even bring the shit up. They don't say nothing about what you got on. They don't say shit about your hair. They don't say shit about your skin. Because if you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Exactly. So that's all they say. I don't have to point out anything. Yeah. Right. I don't have to point out, like, anything. Exactly. 
Like, and if you're going to point it out, I like for you to point it out because so that's something you like. You feel me? Like, yeah, oh, you be like, oh, I like your by. smile. You feel me? Your smile is really pretty. That's cool, but well, don't I be like. your lot. Exactly. Not don't be you're like, pretty for a girl exactly, with, with locks. locks. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, what the fuck is you talking so about? you mean girls with locks? Or girls who look like me with locks. You don't mm. usually find it. You feel me? Exactly. Mm. And then when you start breaking that mm. shit down, they'll be ready for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's Because I got questions. You can I just ask me. No sh- you feel me? That. You can't what just you say certain shit that? to me because I'm going to ask right. you. What you mean by that? I'm sorry. Let's, yeah, like, <laughs> let's let's that. that. Like, seriously, like, what do you, what, what did you mean? Like, skirt, skirt, let's go back, rewind. When you said this. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what did you mean? Tell right. me what that shit means. You got the floor. What did you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I Explain think yourself. <laughs> it's very important. Like, I really want everybody, like, the points that we did make. Take that into consideration and before you make comments or before you want to be a clown on social media, because that, you know, at 40, that shit's going to look whack. Okay. Like, be, be an adult now, you know, and um, I am sorry because we do have to wrap this up, but I think we have such a good dynamic. We might have to do something like this again. Like, yes. <laughs> do part two. Yeah, maybe we got to do like a part two and shoot, I might be able to try to find somebody, but listen, I'm not going to force a conversation because I okay. think we had a beautiful conversation and we, we got some great points across and I really wanted to tie this up with our socials and a last message that we might like to say. Um, and I guess I'll just start off because it's my shot. Okay, period. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can find me on Instagram, shut up underscore Christine. And guess what? I ain't never shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you can also follow me, C Media, on YouTube. And like I said, I do interviews, podcasting, and you're going to see my face all 2023 and forward. Everywhere. Period. Everywhere. Oh, I'm next. <laughs> yes. Okay, you can find me on Instagram at supernova with two A's underscore one. And my business page is Nova's Yoga and well- Wellness Center all together on Instagram as well. And the words that I have for y'all is love yourself and put yourself first and fuck these weirdos. <laughs> fuck these weirdos, you heard? <laughs> like, my Instagram is going to be at the Monte Carlo. That's T H E. M O N T I I Carlo like the car you know what to play. Mm-hmm. Um, that's gonna be all my socials. Um, for my YouTube, it's just gonna be Monte L A K A Monte Carlo, and that's the A before the E. Okay, mm-hmm. not the city. Okay, it's only one me. The <laughs> a before the E, yes. and my message is kind of similar to my girl Shein's. You know, mm-hmm. just you know, try your best to be confident. Try your best to love yourself because at the end of the day, you can only die with yourself. Okay. So, you know, you're not going to be able to live with yourself if you don't love yourself. And when I say keep it see money, I mean keep it real with me. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye.